Hello guys and welcome to a Cubes UK tutorial on solving the Dino Cube. Now for those of you that don't know what a Dino Cube is, it's pretty much one of these. Now how this differs to a Scube. So a Scube has kind of got a centre or a middle piece and then you've got the corners, three corners around it, which I mean these are both kind of axis rotating puzzles. But instead of going around a middle piece, the Dino Cube actually has like six kind of corners which rotate around the axis, the corner axis. Uh, so it's a different kind of method to a skew, but in theory they're the same they're the same kind of puzzle. So they're very, very easy to solve once you learn how. I mean I learned how to solve this. It probably took I'm gonna say about seven minutes, uh, if that, and I completely learnt it. Um, so I mean as long as you've got basic cube knowledge and understand how these kind of twisty puzzles interact and work with each other, you could probably solve it intuitively to be fair um, right let's go ahead so all I'm doing now is I'm going to scramble it make sure it's all scrambled and what I'm going to do is start on the white face so solve the white side first like I do in almost all tutorials okay I think that's scrambled enough got a pair here which is good We'll come, by the way, guys, we'll come to these four dino cubes up here in a second, okay? For the moment, just concentrate on what I'm doing down here with this one. So, here is our dino cube. I've scrambled it up, and we're going to solve the white face first. So, pick any of your white pieces. I mean, I know ours are quite grouped together, which is nice. But try and find, if you've got a face with two whites on it, start with that. If not, just find a white piece, and we'll start from there. So, obviously, you know that orange is opposite red. And the same as green is opposite blue. So when you're solving this, don't put kind of orange and blue. Sorry, don't put green and blue next to each other, because you won't have this kind of edge piece here, uh, which is going to have a green and blue bit on because they're opposite colours. So that is obviously basic knowledge. All we want to do, which is also basic knowledge, is bring all the whites to this face, making sure we've got uh, orange, blue, red, green, or they can be in any order. You've got two kind of solutions for this puzzle, as long as, like I say, orange and red, green and blue are opposite each other. This could be red or orange. This could be green or blue. It doesn't matter. Okay, so all we want to do is find our... Well, we're going to start with this one. So white and green. Opposite white and green, we should have white and blue. Now, what you want to do is bring your white and blue piece on this face somewhere. You want it to go here, bring it to this face, and then we can just twist it up into place. So, at the moment, it's down here. So, to get that onto this face, all we've got to do is twist this. Okay, so we've got it from here. I went the wrong way around, but I could have just gone like that to bring it onto this face. Now, to get it from here to here, we can't just do that because we're going to ruin this piece. But if we move this out the way, we can bring this white and blue up and then bring these ones back. Okay, so we've got white and green, opposite white and blue. Now, this white and red piece, we want to be over here. Again, just give it a twist, and we want to make sure we get it to this face, somewhere on this face. Okay, because it's down here, again, all we have to do is twist it up. Once it's on this face, all you've got to do, push these out the way like so, bring this one to the top face, and then we can bring these ones back. Oh, just like that. Now that's very, very simple. Uh, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to muddle it up one more time. And I'll show you again, because that was very, very easy. They were pretty much all grouped together. I actually find it harder to scramble this than I do to solve it. It's crazy. Okay, so we're going to start with the red and white piece here. So, like I said, opposite red and white is orange and white so this white and green piece can go here or here it doesn't matter so let's move that red and white out the way bring this piece up and bring the red and white piece back okay now opposite white and green we want white and blue which is already here so I can move that straight up and then what we want is so we've got red and white this should be orange and white down here so to get this piece onto this face somewhere, 
All we want to do, twist it like that and twist it like that. It's very easy, guys. A little bit of common sense and just kind of twiddling this bottom, the bottom four corners. As long as you twiddle the bottom four corners, you're not going to muck up what you've already done. And you can always, you know, using these bottom corners, you can rotate any piece around the whole puzzle. Oh, hope that makes sense. So white and orange is this side by twiddling these bottom four corners. You know, we've got it over here this time. So to get this piece up here, literally oh, move these ones to the back so that we can insert it on the top layer and we can bring these ones back. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Just make sure the only thing you've got to make sure on this puzzle is that white and green is opposite white and blue and white and red is opposite white and orange. It doesn't matter where the other ones are. So once you've done that, guys, you want to turn your puzzle over so that the white one is on the bottom. Okay. And this face will be the yellow face, because white is opposite yellow. Now, what we want to achieve in this layer is to solve these kind of four pieces here. Now, I've already got two solved, which is good. You might have two solved, you might have one, you might have three, you might have them all solved, which will be great. Um, but if not, I'm going to teach you how to do that now. So, we've got orange and green. All we've got to do here is twist that one into its place, like that. Obviously, green and red are already solved. And here we've got blue and red. Literally, twist it in. It's so simple, guys. Let's muddle it up just a little bit. Okay, so I've just muddled it up again. White is still on the bottom, and I've still got all these bits solved. So, we've got blue and red here. We want this piece to be over here. All we do is twiddle that corner and twiddle that corner again this is so just it's just common sense so we've got green and orange i want to twist that up to bring it to the top layer because if it's there you know it's kind of i can't i can't move this layer i'll ruin the whites so i want to move it to the top and then green orange green orange we just twist it down this one over here is green and red it wants to be over here to do that really simple Put it there so we can just twist that bit in. You've just got to remember to move this green and orange one back. Okay. And over here, you've got blue and orange. Just move it in. There's no complex algorithms, guys. It is literally just a case of twisting these corners to get all these bits in place. So there we go. We've got all them for him. We've still got our white layer solved. And we've got these kind of, I guess they'd be called edge pieces, although they are technically corners. I don't really know. Um, and then onto our yellow face. So this is our yellow face here. It's literally, you've got four cases, which I've got in front of me here. So what I'm going to do, guys, is put this cube to the side, and I'll move on to each puzzle individually. So you'll have one of these cases, okay? The difference between these two here, the first two, we've got two yellows on the top face. As you can see, they're both almost identical. However, the solved... Uh, the solved corner or edge, whatever you want to call it, is at the back, and the other yellow is on the left. Okay, and on this one, the solved corner is at the back, and the the other yellow is on the right. So that's them two. This one, we've got no yellows on the top face. They're all kind of swapped around the wrong way. And on this one, we've got all the yellows on the top face, but they're all kind of in the opposite corners so that orange and uh sorry we want the yellow and orange to be here and the orange and oh sorry the yellow and red to be here and the same with this one we just need to swap these two and these two so let's start with this one all you want to do is hold it so that the yellow and red or whatever color it may be it could be yellow and green yellow and blue yellow and orange or in my case yellow and red make sure it's at the back so this is the solved edge or corner let's call it an edge uh, the solved edge is here at the back and what you want to do is this algorithm, it's literally four moves and it's so simple, guys. Your two slots, easy way to remember it is the two slots, as long as this is at the back. If the two slots are on the right, then we do R prime, L, R, oh, R, and L prime. And that solves that case. So let's pop that there. If the 
solved pieces at the back, or hold it so that the solved pieces at the back and the two kind of incorrectly positioned pieces or rotated pieces are on the left, and you want to do the inverse of with the algorithm we used on that cube. So you bring the left side towards you, so it's L, R prime, L prime, R, and that's going to solve that cube. So simple. Okay, let's pop them there. Now, these two are pretty much exactly the same as what we've just done there. Hold your cube in any rotation, it doesn't matter. Perform either of the two algorithms you've just done. By the way, an easy way to remember it is towards you, towards you, away, away. So here we've got this case where we've got the solve one at the back and we've got the empty positions on our left. So we do towards you, towards you, away, away. Ooh, eventually. And that solved that one. Now this case here is exactly the same. So let's do towards you, towards you, away, away. And that's given us exactly the same case again. So the solve one at the back, empty two slots on our left. And we do towards you, towards you, away, and away. And there you have it, guys. That has solved all of our dino cubes. Obviously, except for this one. Let's solve that one now. Exactly the same. Empty space. Towards you, towards you, away, away. Right. There you go, guys. Such an easy puzzle to solve. I hope you enjoyed solving it as much as I have. It's such a fun puzzle to kind of learn. Uh, I would class this as a beginner's puzzle. You can pick it up on our website. This is the Sheng Shao version. It's very, very good. It's a bit kind of loose to begin with. You've just got to tension it correctly. Obviously, all of these I've just got straight out of the box um, and done a couple of demo. Well, obviously, this tutorial demo solve. Uh, so when you do receive yours, you might just want to tighten it up a little bit. Uh, but they are really fun, really nice little puzzle. Uh, when you've kind of lubed it, it's even more fun, more enjoyable. But I hope you enjoyed watching, guys. Do please give the video a like, a share if you're watching it on YouTube or Vimeo, or if you see it on Facebook, anywhere. Just give it a share, guys. Do help us out. Uh, and again, thank you for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.